friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on our software testing bootcamp. We are talking about the fundamentals of software testing. As a part of today's tutorial, we'll be kicking off with the chapter seven where we'll be talking about the various test tools and also giving you introduction to what exactly tool support can be for the testing process. As a part of this chapter, we will be covering four different segments talking about introduction to the tools, benefits and risk of using a tool, also what kind of tools we can make use of in testing and what they mean, and of course, to talk about how to select a tool for your project. To get started today, we'll be looking at the 7.1 introduction to tools for testing. To talk about the tools, of course, we have to go back relate to our previous tutorial, which we discussed about automation testing, and we gave you, gave you a quick introduction to what exactly the tools can do. Tools are not just limited to automation, as I mentioned earlier, tools can be supporting in different purposes of the test process. Tools can line up right from the beginning, that is test design, test implementation, executions, defect management, or sometimes just to manage your resources as well. There are several tools which can contribute to overall success of a test process, but we need to understand their categorizations, their specialities, and their applicabilities within your process related to different activities which we perform. At the same time, the test tools can be used to support one or more test activities. Such tools include the tools that are sometimes directly used in the testing, where it could be all about executing the test. For an example, if you're talking about the automation test executions, then these are the tools which are directly involved in testing and help you to minimize your interaction with the system or minimize your efforts to perform necessary tests and be very faster to return you the results of what exactly you could do for long hours. Sometimes the test data preparation tools are another example who can help you to build the data at a very different manner in terms of like creating pairwise, creating combinatorial combinations of techniques, and at the same time building up some sample data which could be randomized as well. So there are tools which can be directly supporting some of your test activities. Sometimes the tools can help you not to do some direct activities, but just help you to manage your artifacts, your work products, and different other entities throughout the life cycle, including talking about managing requirements, managing test cases, procedures, automated scripts, test results, data, defect, and for reporting and monitoring the test executions as well. Don't forget, the tools certainly consist of a lot of matrices which could return you a great you know, information for the monitoring and control activities. Now, these management tools do not do any specific task on their own, but just manage your room in a beautiful wardrobe by dividing them into different segments. On the other hand, tools can also be used for investigation and evaluation. For example, if I'm talking about the dynamic analysis of a software system about performance testing, security testing, then it's just not about testing. It can help you to analyze the problem, diagnose the issue, and come back to you and tell you that these are the areas which needs improvement to improvise the outcome. So sometimes there are tools which are just not limited to perform testing, but could help you to find out the root reason behind the degradation. Also, there could be any other thing which you can talk about. For example, it could just be another tool which can assist you in the test process in terms of managing the resources, managing certain artifacts, like even an Excel sheet can be called as a tool if you are using. That means any such software or any such application which helps you to reduce your effort or manage your resources or perform some direct test activities can be called as a test tool. So there's no such limitation. You can look forward to any such option which could result into better outcomes and optimum way of conducting testing. To add further on top of it, the test tools can have one or more of the following purposes depending on their context. That means not every tool returns you the same benefit, but at the same time, we need to recognize what kind of tools you are looking for. Remember team, not every tool is capable of doing everything what you can expect as a part of the process. 
every single tool has its own applicability, has its own definition that, hey, we are good at this. We are meant for this particular purpose. So there is no comparison between two different tools. Yes, there can be a comparison between two same tools, but not different tools. You cannot say what I mean here is a performance testing tool is incapable of doing functional testing. Or you cannot say that a functional test tool is incapable of doing security testing because it was never meant for that. So every tool has its own recognition, own purposes to be used and deployed for an organization. Now, understanding those reasons, understanding those purposes will help you to select the right set of tool for your activity and the purposes. Moreover, given that a test manager is someone who is responsible for selecting a tool, given a test engineer should also know what kind of tool should I learn in order to gain more value or more wealth in the profile and the technicality. Now, some of these contexts include improving the efficiency of test activities by automating repetitive tasks or tasks that require significant resources when done manually. Now, we pretty much know that regression testing is a good candidate of automation because it has to be executed quite often. Every time a change takes place, we need to make sure that all other parts of the application which remain unchanged are still working fine. Now, these are some of the tasks which needs to be iterated, repeated quite often, and that could be tedious. Even if you try to do it manually, it would take a lot of resources and their time to complete this exercise. And that too, if it is every day, it could be tedious and killing a lot of our precious time. Now, this is where automated, automated testing tools could be a great help. Also improving the efficiency of test activities just by supporting the manual test activities throughout the process. Could be we are talking about the test management tools where we just manage our test cases, take the reference of the test cases with the help of tool, perform them manually, but still there is a tool which is organizing, structuring, setting up your schedules, defining the priority of the test cases so that you don't have to figure out on your own that what should I do next. The tools can suggest you, tools can help you to refer information uh, manage things in a way which could reduce your effort in executing a smooth process altogether. So not necessarily direct activities, sometimes indirect activities can also be a great purpose for your help. Improving the quality of test activities by allowing our more consistent testing and higher level of defect reproducibility. Some of the tools are capable enough to capture a video recording, capture some screenshots, or even capture the steps to navigate, which could help people to reproduce the defect at the same time, or being more consistent in the testing by iterating the same steps again and again. Also automating activities that cannot be executed manually. In our previous tutorial, we have also discussed about this point earlier that there are certain specific levels which are very, very difficult, in fact, impossible to a certain extent to be conducted manually. Now, these tools could be a really great help for the test team to perform the necessary executions. Finally, increasing reliability of the testing, that is by automating large data comparisons or simulating behaviors, we can be more reliable on the system Without the tool, probably this test was not even possible. So with help of the tools, you may have better reliability on the system and making sure that the iterations of certain tests which you wanted to do with multiple set of data could be you know, done quickly and faster and could result into great optimum outcomes. Now this reliability can be established if you can do more testing in limited time and that is only possible if you have the right set of tool available with you, right? So that's to introduce about the test tools. I hope you had a good understanding of that. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.